Okay, this is Russia, turn 10, the Soviet turn. They have 22 IPCs to use. They can't put anything into the theater where they really need it, so just for the hell of it, they're going to buy two bombers just for fun, and so they'll be on the board at the end of the turn. So, um, the Russian forces up in the northern part here are going to try and finish off the last... Um, uh, white Russian force in Archangel. So they'll come in with two artillery from Kazan and they'll have air superiority in the fight. Uh, while we're here, we're going to move these two guys back to Ingria. And then over in the Siberian theater, uh, we're going to attack Amur with uh, three infantry from Tushit Khan. And then we're going to attack uh, or we're going to support the attack on Irkutsk with two more infantry from Tushit Khan. We might as well move this guy over just for fun. Uh, oh, I forgot to put a chip there to uh, show the uh, uh, fight happening here. Okay, so um, since we're over here, I don't know, there's no place I can put the, the thing. I'm going to back up a little bit. So this is in range, and uh, okay, so uh, the Amur fight is going to be three twos versus a three, so we can roll those together, and hit, hit. So they do take the territory, but they lose an infantry doing it, so those guys are all dead, uh, and Amur isn't worth anything, so we'll just put that over like that. Okay, for the other one, we have... Uh, Five twos, that's three infantry and two cavalry versus two threes and a one. Actually, we can roll these all together as well. <laughs> so we got two hits on both sides. We did not kill everything. So I think we'll kill the cavalry on this side and we'll kill these two things on this side. So let's just do that. And that will be that. Okay. All right. Scooting the camera over in a second as soon as I move that. Uh, we'll be in on uh, this attack here. So obviously this is just a, almost a formality because we should be able to get a hit here. We have two fours for, or four fours for the air superiority, four threes, and two twos. And we only needed one hit. We got more than one hit. I'm not even going to count those. It's two, well, six hits. Uh, and then the uh, Imperial Russian force fires back and has a uh, has a uh, one. So he's gone. And Archangel is now um, Russian, or uh, Soviet. Okay, so that's plus one. Uh, that's all that happens is plus one for these guys. So for what it's worth, uh, these guys are going to get plus one. So they're actually tied with Germany at 12. Uh, and bonuses, uh, control central Russia controls Ingria, so plus 10, so they finish with 22 IPCs. All right, uh, white Russian turn coming up next. So the white Russian turn, this is just sad. They only have a dollar. Uh, there's not really much they can do. Uh, they can't buy anything. And there's literally only one, um, Russian, uh, white Russian, um, troop left on the board and it's this guy right here and there's nothing that he can do uh so he's just going to continue to um challenge that position and that's it so this is it for the white russian turn oh i should mention i didn't do this before uh, i did place my two new uh bombers just for fun in central russia and angria okay that's the end of the russian turn that's basically the end of the russian revolution now there was no um clear winner because there is still a troop left but and and you know they the game is now over after this turn but uh obviously the uh the soviets um have more territory so they will 
uh, effectively at the Russian Revolution point kind of thing. So, um, okay, on to Germany next turn.